take two because I'm having somebody else come through. Ooh, thank you. Does anybody want my extra signs? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh Jesus, buddy. I think you know people want to come out and laugh and I would be able to you don't want to she got shoved it down Right. Is need a little bit more information? Five hours. Yes. Against a single pay. I'm against a single pay health care. Because and single pay. I'm yes. not. I'm for. Are you? Yes, definitely. But you guys not, I'm not for an, an, an own, only uh, government system. Oh, yeah. But I'm for options. you know an options oh. and opening up the, the, the health care market so that we can get a little bit better leverage. But you're all friends. You no. haven't. No, we just, just met in line. But, oh. <laughs> look at that. Absolutely. Look at that. Harmony in the world. They did not kill each other. No, of course not. Do you, what, the do you think that this is Barack Obama's secret plan to kill old people? Are you worried about that? I don't think it's anybody's secret plan. I think that's going a little overboard. I just reading reading what's in this bill scares the hell out of me. Which part? Lots of it, actually. I don't like the fact that once you sign this into effect, that there are no more options for private insurance. That I do not like that. But there is no bill. No, but the bill that they're proposing, your HR 3200, if you look at it, that's one of the line items in there. So you're saying that the private insurance or the government insurance is not an option, you're saying it's going to be mandatory. I believe that's exactly what will happen. And even if they, I, well, well, and I just, I think that once you do that and you have, I don't see how a private industry insurance can compete with a government insurance. There is no way that they can have the same rates, I think. Even if the initial intent isn't to single one out, I think that's exactly what you're so going to have. What you're saying is that the government will actually be more efficient and will win the competition because it will offer better services at lower cost. No, I disagree with that. I have you friends be in cheaper. England and Canada. <laughs> no, I didn't necessarily say it was going to be cheaper, but I'm saying that that private business has certain rules and regulations that they have to abide by that the government making wants. more money. The, 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 the medical, the insurance industry made 13 billion dollars and it didn't profit. go to health in profit. It went to and I have friends also who have private, private, right. private, you, private sure. Sure. We're still private friends. Private insurance <laughs> and we were denied treatment on private insurance. I have a neighbor I can take you right to her. She's got cancer and she's been denied all kinds of tests by her in the morning private insurance. Yes. Some horror yes. stories about rationing are happening now. Either being done by private companies. You, you shrug off the girl, the woman who's been denied coverage. Does that no, not bother you? I'm not shrugging it off, but I also know people in the, in the United Kingdom and Canada but we're not that saying have that we're making that have, the United Kingdom or Canada but I think that's, American program. Which is America, not not the United Kingdom. That's not what I read in the book. Well, no, I read that the I lowest, read what we're doing there. We are the lowest health care of any industrialized <laughs> nation in the country today. We are below Chile. We are below Colombia. And we, we below and we cover for far fewer people than the people exactly. who spend more. So why? How does that work? Why is that a good idea? The level of Costa Rica, right? Which is yes. no Costa Rica ha it's covers Costa Rica. all of their citizens. Costa yes, Rica has got one of but, but but Costa Rica, Costa Rica in terms of expenses and uh, the quality of coverage. That's what I heard. Yeah. The but they cover all their citizens. That's right, the difference. Is exactly. we may be at their level, but they don't have 45 million people that don't have insurance. And somebody was saying that government so, uh, health care would uh, be terrible. Just Hold on. your expectations right now. Uh, we're going to allow the Hillcrest Town Council members to be able to go in first. That number might be 30. I don't know. 30 could be 50. After they go in, you will be allowed to go in. And we'll, up until about 320, then we're going to stop. We will prop the doors open. If you want to hang out and listen from outside, you can. 
there is an amplified uh, uh, system that's inside. Okay. Capacity. Capacity is 320. And what are the amount of people in front of us? Oh, I don't know. We'll count when we're at yeah, the door. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the one uh, police officer told me that up here was about 200 or something like that. It's 100. Oh, about 100 here? About 100. Thanks. I've been corrected. So, so we'll probably make we it, but make they it. may not. I hope so. I'm on an email list for various things. Got it sent. I'm curious. Yeah. all kinds of yeah. places over here. <laughs> I'm curious. Um, the the free market, the way it works, it for the insurance companies, it's their job to charge more and more every year and provide fewer and fewer services. That's how capitalism works. Their job is not to help us, but to make a profit. Yeah. So why are you in favor of that? Who is this doing what? I missed that. There was such a pregnant pause. I had figured that would be significant. Well, I was waiting for an answer. What was your question? Well, it, the insurance companies, the way it works under capitalism is that every year they charge you more and more, and every year they give you fewer and fewer services right. because their job is to make a profit. And I was asking her why she's for that. I'm for a free market. Even in healthcare where it literally kills people. What I am terrified of mm -hmm. is that the current administration is taking over everything. They've taken over the banks, they've taken over the car industry, the medical, you know. <laughs> But if I see all of our yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. where would be if, where would be right. if they hadn't have done the things they've done? Did you feel that way when your yeah. reform was subject to being tapped? Did you feel that way when Bush took over the banks? Yeah, it was Bush when took Bush over took over the car did. Yeah. did you feel that way, too? How about when they took over Iraq lies? based yeah. on lies? Did yeah. that bother you? Totally you guys see your way? Oh, no, I'm trying, trying, trying to see your way. I'm trying to hear, trying to hear your your reason. And you know, uh, presumably, those people who say they don't want government involved <coughs> drive on roads, go over bridges. Yeah. Oh, I think Send government needs to be I involved think. in certain ways, but I think it's gotten well, way too big. Well, does it make big. sense to have free public education and yet not have a kid be able to go to a doctor when he's ill? That doesn't yeah. make sense. It's crazy. And there was um, an interview about our troops have government health care, <laughs> and it's one of the best health care systems oh. in the country. I not, work, not with, veterans, I work with the not military. Veterans. I know There's lots not of veterans, people that do there not are get good military under military. any system. There are always going to be those things. But it's good enough for our military. And, and Congress well. people. And not Congress good. people. And Congress people. That's right. Yeah, so it's. Uh, well, I mean, are you talking about, when you say it's not good, are you talking about the VA or are you talking about the actual active military? Oh. Yeah, I haven't uh, had anybody. I work for a military company and I work with a lot of ex veterans and I hear yeah, a lot no, of horror veterans stories. Well, the veterans have terrible, terrible, have terrible care. That's well, I mean, the ones that were in the, while they were in the service. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that. I've only heard that we need to do a lot more for veterans. Oh, we absolutely do. And somebody, the person who was talking, I don't remember who it was, uh, when asked if all Americans shouldn't have the benefit of the health care that our troops get, he said no, that only our troops should have. That was Bill Crystal on oh, the Daily right. Show. Oh, that's right, that's who it was, okay. So you heard, yeah, yeah. Bill Crystal <laughs> caught, caught, caught. Bill Crystal. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, and he was choked up. He's been right once in the past 12 years or so, so <laughs> you've got to give him credit for that, course. yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the thing he was right about. He was right that, that uh, McCain was going to pick Palin. That, that was well, that the one was thing. He's been, that's the one thing he's been right about. Uh, if it wasn't for nepotism, we wouldn't even know his name. <laughs> his dad was a major Republican. He's one of the founders of the the conservative movement. So. You know, I remember. Um, Goldwater, Barry Goldwater. He was considered a radical Republican. Oh, now he'd be a Barry, moderate Democrat. <laughs> he, was, he was for uh, choice. Yeah. Uh, he was for separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a Barry Goldwater Republican, yeah. but I left the, repar the party because it left the party you? left me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so. Yeah. No, I, Barry Goldwater a, would be. Become a Democrat. He's turning I, over in his grave right now. Yeah, I mean, he that's sure is. 
that's what that's what conservatism is supposed to be. What it is and now is just a frightening and integrity at that yeah, time. Yeah. And he may have been a little bit uh, extreme, but he was at least honest. And now and, it's and who wasn't? I, yeah. Johnson was the liar at that, at that point. Oh, yeah. Johnson and his uh, campaign lied like crazy. Well, and, uh, most likely that Johnson was complicit in getting himself the job exactly. in, in the first place. So. You know what? bothers me in this country is huh. that almost everybody who is elected is a Republican or a Democrat. Is he up there? Let me go. Yeah. And they support their party, not America. I agree. Yeah. We need more choices. Yeah. yeah. We need more choices. Well, that's we what's interesting about right us. now in the Democratic Party is that they're they're divided. I mean, the right. Republicans are sort of healthy. Yeah, the Republicans are all repeating the same lies, and the Democrats at least are having separate opinions. I mean, I don't agree with the Blue Dogs, but at least that shows that we're not a, a monolithic. But I think each each party and each organization ought to police themselves first before they start pointing the fingers. Yeah. Uh, we don't have that. Do you want to fill in for, for the Republican position here in the discussion? Oh, I'm just more conservative than her, so. Okay. Uh, you have you guys uh, read the plan? And it's a full text? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not so done you, yet. So, so, you, so, so you guys euthanizing. Oh, really? Oh, HR 3200. Wow. It says euthanizing. You're telling us it's done. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. You not need anything. Yeah, well, you couldn't have read euthanasia in the bill because there wasn't euthanasia in the bill. Tell us. That's what it's going to be because that's what it's in Canada. What does that have to do with Of course, we're the United States. And that's what doing. So why did you an American health care plan from Commandante? No, she said. Oh, you know what? Oh, you're absolutely right. Well, where did you get the euthanasia? Well, well, where did you get the euthanasia? No, no, no. But you're drinking the Kool Aid too. You're calling for Obama. You, you know, you love him. I mean, hello, drink the Kool Aid. How is that? How is you making up stories? Jim Jones, right here. How is you making up? Wow, woohoo! Are you gonna stop? How is you making up stories about euthanasia? <laughs> have to do with it. That's what you guys are spreading. No, we're we're trying to to, to debunk your well, lies. Hope and change for 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 what? For for your attitude. We need we need to get away from. Kids to be stuck with our bills for. No, it's better to have us so we can be in the grave sooner. So grave so. <laughs> So cerebral that's palsy kids don't get their their health care. They don't get so it now. If it's a pre that, that's that's how it works under the Dad private care. Kids die under private oh, care. Wow. What do you? I care? have the best health care. I don't. I do. I don't. I so do. how is how is that how is that fair? No, you can't. Yes, you can. you know, do you know why you have the it's best health care? Thirty-two hundred. I did. I did. Then, then where'd you get the idea yeah. that? You're, then where did you get the tell where us? Where did you get it? Tell us where you got the idea. There's HR euthanasia. It's not in the bill. Anybody of, over the age of 59 uh -huh. will not get health care. They will not get a health, uh, heart it's transplant. Bullshit. They will not get a lung. Bullshit. No, no, it's not that, it bullshit. says that's no, it's what that not. is. That's pure bullshit. Totally no, it's not. Yes, it is. It is bullshit. No, yes, it is. She knows it yes, is. Yes, it is. She knows it. Is. She knows it. Either she knows it is, or she's buying the lies so much she believes them. It oh, doesn't yeah. matter where. That's pure no, well, it's not true, and it's not. In the it's not in the bill. You keep quoting the name of the bill, but you have no idea what's in it, clearly, because euthanasia is not in the bill. So you keep saying euthanasia it's is in the, the bill. It's the same thing. What's when, the same thing? When you cannot get a heart transplant, when you cannot get a knee replacement, when you cannot Where does it say that? It says in the bill that you can't get a trans... Really? It says that in the bill, that you can't get a heart transplant if you're over 59. Really? Oh, I have. She's I already have. made her decision. She's not I changing her it. mind. I'm just trying to get her to keep putting her foot in her mouth. That's all. <laughs> well, I mean, to tell us, it's not in the euthanasia is not in the bill, but you just said it was. So explain to us how it's, it's not, in. Those specific words are not in the bill, but you will die. You die you now if you get dropped by your insurance. Yeah, no, God, no, God will take me. Right. You got but do you guys believe in God? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, are you questioning his belief in God because he doesn't believe in you politically? I don't know what you guys believe in. 
You question his belief in God because he disagrees with you no, politically. You just did. Like I'm going to play it back if you'd like to see it. You just questioned it. I really don't care. Clearly. Like I the fact, like about the facts. You just don't, don't care, do you? Really? really? Yeah, that's right. How many? 45 million can't get health care. Really? Oh, illegals? 40, no, that's the only ones who can't get health care is illegal. That's who can. My, my daughter can't get health care because she's a pre-existing -condi pre condition and she's not illegal. My dad had a pre-condition -condi and, and he got health care. Yeah, wait, wait till you get dropped. When I mean, you have he had a heart condition. Wow. He had a pacemaker, a defibrillator. I mean, well, I'm assuming he wow. has Medicare. He doesn't have private well, insurance. he's deceased now. <laughs> but I'm assuming he had Medicare when he had the pacemaker and everything no, else. No, he didn't. He had, he a, had private a private for a private insurance. Blue when, Cross. When was this? This was actually not too long ago, 1980. <laughs> We're not talking about 1980. We're not even close to talking about 1980. We're talking about what's happened since then. That the oh, yeah, it's do you not down. do you not understand that the oh, way you're capital blame Bush for it too? Is that what you're gonna do? No, I was gonna point out that the way capitalism works is that every year the way capitalism works is that every year the insurance companies are gonna charge you more and more and give you less and less, and you're for that for some In reason. 1980 insurance companies paid out 95% of the money they took in in premiums in health care costs. Today, they pay 80%. And it's just going to keep going down because that's how the free market works when you put it in no, health care. in the 1960s, they paid 100% health insurance. Okay. Paid 100%. Okay. okay. So it keeps going down, but, but you're should, for it. No, but it should be a payer plan. A single payer? All right. She's I for mean, single that's payer. That's what I'm for. That's you're, what I do. You're for single payer? Heck yeah! I pay for my own insurance. You I don't pay understand for my what single doctor. payer is, do you? No, I pay for my own doctor visits. I pay for everything. Okay. I don't think she I understands don't, single payer. That, so you believe goal. that individuals should be responsible for their yes, own health care? Exactly. There shouldn't be group insurance plans. There shouldn't be any no, of this. Just everybody it. should be on the hook for themselves. Yeah. So what do you okay. think about public education? I don't. I, don't, I disagree with it. You disagree so with public should, education? Should not universally in this country be educated. Hey, put no, them in sweatshops. They need to be educated, but they're not being educated properly. And private, private education private is good. So the what? way to go either. So what is the third choice that we're missing? Maybe homeschooling. Just Maybe that's universal option. homeschooling. Maybe that's an option. Okay. All right. Just getting wackier and wackier. Just out of curiosity, where do you think Obama was born? I really don't know. <laughs> American, uh, that's for sure. What was that? He's not an American. Yeah. Because he's just destroying America. And he, Bush and he was an American. Us. He bad, bad mouths us to all the foreign countries. Why? Um, you mean by pointing out the things we've done? Do what you think we've what only we been done? Like Russia. Like Russia what? Did you hear about what he did with Russia? What did he do with Russia? That how Russia was talking about how our you know the whole insurance the car thing where they and reimburse you the forty five hundred dollars. They said it was the stupidest thing on the face of the earth. Who and said that? The Russians. The Russians said that cars for clunkers was a stupid idea. Yes. As a country, they unifiedly said that. Well, they are against okay. their They're prime minister. Too. They're against our health care. The They're Russian against prime socialism too. That Obama wants us to be socialized. The Russians are making fun of us. But the, the uh, world's making fun of us. Well, I know the world is making fun of us. As opposed to those eight years that you were proud of when the world just loved us, correct? Did we not have an attack? Uh, we did have an attack. It was called 9/11. Really? If you don't yeah, recall exactly. that. Yeah, but exactly. But there were attacks after. Um, well, yeah, actually, I believe that there was a um, an anthrax attack. I don't think we caught really? that person. Did we catch Bin Laden? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, Eight we years. know where he is. You know where but he is. But we're not allowed to do anything. You're not allowed to. No. Really? Is that how, that's how it is, huh? But um, if I remember correctly, when in the campaign, when Obama was saying that he'd go into Pakistan and get them, Republic Republicans were going nuts. Has he done it? Well, has, it, has he? <laughs> no, he hasn't, because apparently we don't know where he is. Oh, you we get a whole. Know where he is. You know where he is. Oh yeah. And it doesn't bother you that he was just allowed. He's still allowed he's to live. He's here in Palm Springs. Hello. It, he it has a house here in Palm Springs. <laughs> it doesn't bother you that Bin Laden's still on the loose after all those years that Bush could have gotten him. We could have had him. If, I'm just curious if if that had happened under under Clinton and Clinton went let six years Clinton go by. He probably would have done something. Yeah. He probably would have gone over there and got him. Yeah, I believe Clinton. Yeah, with the first World Trade Center attack, all those people oh, were brought to justice. Anything. Oh yeah, right. What? 
He hasn't done anything with the first World Trade bombing. Uh, all those people were caught and prosecuted, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Yeah. You don't you go with that. What you don't remember the first World Trade Center okay. bombing oh. in 1993? Yeah. And how all those people were brought to justice? Yeah. Yeah. Timothy McVeigh. Ooh. No, that was that wasn't the World Trade Center. Well, that was the, the federal building. Uh huh. In Oklahoma. Uh huh. But ooh. Do you have a point, or you just make like strange sounds? <laughs> I'm waiting for the point. No, I'm waiting for your point. Well, I've made my point. I'm waiting for you to refute the fact that if Bin Laden had struck us in Bill Clinton's term and he had gone six years without catching him, you'd be bouncing off the walls. After about a year, oh my God, he hasn't caught Bin Laden. He's, he's such a communist. Oh my God. But it was okay when Bush just... Oh, but he let the, the coal attack happen. He let all the embassies be, be, be bombed. He, you know, all these bombings. How come he didn't catch those people? Huh? Um, How come because he didn't catch he, all, all That those? happened right before the election, if I recall correctly. Oh, and no. th then Bush still hasn't caught those people, oh, correct? No. Oh, no. And plus he has a traitor, you know, Colin Powell. So it's Colin Powell's fault that we didn't catch no. Bin Laden? No. Why is Colin Powell it's a, a traitor? It's, it's a lot of them. Why is Colin Powell a because traitor? Because he voted for Obama. He drank the Kool-Aid. He's a traitor for exercising his free right to vote in an election. He, he sold the military down the river. Bush did? No. Oh, because I thought Bush was the one that put us into a war that we didn't need to go into based well, we on lies. We to go in there. Really? Yeah. Based on the weapons of mass destruction? Oh, or? Yeah. And they were there. And Colin Powell even said they, they were. <laughs> well, I have no qualms with the fact that Colin Powell lied and about that too. They're, they're in Syria. They're in, so we should go to into Syria next. We should, but we won't because we're cowards. We're cowards. Oh yeah. For not attacking another country that didn't attack us. Yeah, absolutely. So we should attack all the countries that we just oh, yeah. feel like it. Oh yeah, terrorists. All the terrorists. We should get rid of them. Well, terrorists are in 60 plus countries. We should attack all of them. Oh yeah, why not? And you're not smart enough to understand our military can't physically do that. No, they can. They can attack 60 countries when we're already spread thin in two. No, we can't, but you know, why not? Why not try? Why not try? You don't mind killing people just for fun, do you? You don't mind killing babies or, or elders, do you? Well, as we explained to you, killing elders isn't even on the table. That's a lie that you're repeating because that you don't have any facts to base, to base your argument on, clearly. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep repeating the euthanasia lie. And you know it's a lie, don't you? No, I don't. You don't know it's a lie. Okay. You actually believe that it's true, even though it's not. Oh, no. oh. Thank you. We're excellent. You, you make your points. I didn't make any points. No, I didn't give that, you any that's points. clear. <laughs> that's clear. You didn't make any points. That's because why should I talk to you? Well, you've been I mean, talking you to me. You have your view, and I have my yes, view. Yes, but you've been talking to me for ten minutes, and you just admitted you haven't made any points. So, you're, and the reason you didn't make any points wasn't because you don't have any, but because. I'm not worth making them to, is that your point now? Uh, bottom line. Okay. Still saying everyone's entitled to their opinion, but everyone is not entitled to their own facts. Yeah, apparently. Well, she's got her own facts, so... Apparently Thank she's you. entitled to them. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's good to see you're supporting an entitlement. No, I'm not in support, supporting the. Well, you're entitled to make up your own facts. I'm not supporting taxes either. You're, you're supporting your entitlement you to make up your own facts about you euthanasia in the bill. You are. But I'm not. I'm telling you it's not in the bill because it's not in the bill. And you keep saying it is in the bill, even though it's not, but I'm the one making up the facts. Correct? I just want to make sure I get this right. Well, euthanasia is not in the bill, and she says it is, so how is that not making up facts? How is it on the bill? Have you read the bill? Personally? Yeah, I read that part of the bill. And all it is, it's providing end-of-life end counseling, it provides the option of paying for that. That's not euthanasia. I don't know if you understand what euthanasia is, but it's not that. I actually learned that. this in school. Please tell End me. of life counseling. Mm -hmm. Really? I do. Mm -hmm. That means promoting euthanasia. No, it means, do you understand what happens at the end of somebody's life? That they have to take an option of how they're going to die? That you don't understand how that works, do you? So Kevorkian is cool really? with you. No, we're talking about hospice care, genius. Um, hospice care doesn't tell you how you're going to die. No, no it, it gives you the option of how you're going to die. 
<laughs> of how you're going to spend the end of your life. That's what's in the bill. That's For, what you keep calling. But it doesn't say hospice. But Excuse me. It's called. <laughs> My grandfather died in hospice. Okay. He did not choose to die. They were saving his life. Uh huh. Okay. Who was saving his life? Hospice? The doctors. The hospice. Okay. Okay. They were the saving. The hospice his doesn't life. save life. When you go into hospice, that but means they you give you dignity. give. Yeah. You you've chosen. They gave dignity back to him. Yes. That's they what's in the bill. Him. That's no, what's in the bill. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's what the, the passage that you keep calling euthanasia is allowing the plan to pay for people to actually go through what your grandfather you know what? went we'll through. We'll get this, and you know what? In 10 years, we'll find out who's still living. Yes. If anybody. That's, if anybody. Know. So you think Obama's just going to kill us all, right? No, I, I didn't say that. Well, yeah. You question whether any of us are going to be alive in 10 years. Well, I mean, look at we're all old. Yeah. We're, we're not old. young. Is that what you're worried about? Is that no, what you're worried about? I'll be long gone. But you're worried Obama's going to euthanize you just for being ignorant? Is that what you're worried about? For being ignorant? Yeah. Is because that, I don't fall for him? No, because, because you're making like up him? stories about there being euthanasia in a bill where there's no euthanasia. Okay. All right, genius. That's that's what that's your interpretation. My it's not an interpretation. It's euthanasia. not in the bill. You, you can't interpret that, something that's not that in there. Clause, you know, put that clause in there. Republicans you interpret the Constitution by wanting to take out the gun laws. What gun laws does he want rights. to take out? The right to carry on. Yeah, and right explain to, to me exactly what Obama has done to take that away. Uh, <laughs> really? How about gun law restrictions uh, in DC? In Chicago? How about the bullets? How they have to be have a certain coded number restricting? Oh, you're talking about the thing that law enforcement asks for, right? Because all no. of a sudden you no. Republicans are against law enforcement. That's good. No, really, my father was in law enforcement. Then why are you against something that law enforcement supports? Really? They're, they don't. They don't. They don't support them. making it be able to track the bullets easier so they can fight crime. Really. Maybe really? There's other ways that you you can fight crime. You can just make stuff up, I guess, right? No, that's your interpretation. This that's what you said. <laughs> you have your opinion, we have ours. I know, but my opinion is based on what's actually in the bill. There you go. Where's my newscaster? What's that? Talk to your newscaster. Promote your, your ideas with your newscaster. I'm having much more fun talking to you. Sherry! <laughs> Sherry! Hello. So what else do you think the bill's gonna do that it isn't? Find parking. Out of curiosity. Yeah, I was really packed, but I did. Good luck.